And that's gotta be the stupidest question I've ever heard. God, she has such a cute voice. Dear Diary! <laughs> At Westerberg, we have this little tradition called the lunchtime poll. Heather usually writes the questions herself, and she says that we're brushing up on our social skills, but in all seriousness, I think that she just likes to make fun of people's answers. That being said, it gave me the idea to send out my own little questionnaire to some of the people at my Nowhere High School. Some of the answers I got, well, they, they were pretty interesting. The first question that I asked them was, you inherit a million dollars the same day that aliens come to the Earth and inform you that they're gonna blow it up in two days. What do you do? Aliens destroying the world? Oh, gosh, I don't know what I would do. Um, uh, probably throw a major kegger with a piñata. <laughs> Screw the money. A Veronica Sawyer Heather Chandler sandwich for two full days. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's a hard one because once you take into account taxes, loans, extra money payments, you know, even with just two days, we could do a lot with that kind of money. You know, donate it to a charity that plants trees, plant some flowers. I would throw a party with all of my friends. <laughs> or kiss Ram. I'd go out of town. With a girl. Did you get that? Credit, bank statements, college debt. I'd pay Taylor Swift to sit on my face and ride like small town rodeo, hell yeah. Play as Red. She should pay me though. I'd like to go out in the middle of the lake with my uke, play some tunes, and my rosy, get my company. I'd give it to the homeless. Every cent. You'll probably only end up with about 500 bucks. Seriously, Veronica? Ugh, I, I'd pay the aliens off. What? You can tell everyone was super thrilled. Question two, Coke or Pepsi? Neither. Those cans and bottles hardly get recycled. It's awful for the environment. Coke. Pepsi's for gay dudes, duh. Pepsi, oh yeah. <laughs> what did Kurt say? Hmm. Well, I like both. Mm, but... I can get my name on Coke. So... Coke. <laughs> if you really think about it though, the two have the same ingredients in them. The main difference is the sugar content. Pepsi is sweeter. There's no big difference. I don't drink anything. I need to sustain myself on the dreams of others if I ever want to defeat my demons. Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. Pepsi. It goes great with Jiffy Pop. Coke. Simple. I'm more of a fan of mixing the two together to make something different, but uh, I am a big fan of gin and coke. Pepsi. The taste is out of this world. You're standing near train tracks and a train is coming. It's about to get to a fork in the tracks and on one set of tracks there's a complete stranger and on the other is your best friend. The train is set to go down the track with your best friend on it, but you have the power to switch the train's direction. What do you do? I'd switch the tracks. I'd hate to see you die, Veronica. I mean, I'd look awful in black. We all know I'd switch it. Punch it in. That's gotta be the freakiest question I've ever heard. I have no friends. I take the stranger's place. I'm sick of this cold, cold world. A complete stranger. Um, I'd switch it, but I'd feel really bad. Depends which best friend is standing on the other side. Oh, I would switch it immediately. 
Um, sorry to the stranger's family. Ah, the old moral question. To kill someone unknown or to kill someone you know? Any reasonable person would kill the unknown. Evil you know versus evil you don't, you know? I definitely save you, Veronica, you know that. Looks like it's gonna hit no one. Perks of moving place to place. You don't really need to remember any names or really know anyone. Switch it. Not letting my buddy Kurt die. And the last question was, well, let's see how creative everyone was. You come across a genie and he says he'll grant you three wishes. What do you wish for? Play is red, a fast metabolism, and a collection of classic literature. Booze, a date with the Heathers, huh, and a date with Veronica. Death, rebellion, tickets to my chemical romance. Oh wow, three wishes. Okay, um, so a piñata, uh, new pom-poms for the cheer squad, and, um, new uniforms for the cheer squad. World peace no more pollution, and for everything to be recyclable or biodegradable. Cheetos, nachos, and pizza. A new turbo engine for my car. A signed football by Larry Fitzgerald and unlimited kegs of beer. Personal slushy machine, new trench coat, and another day with my mom. Um, movie night every night, a date with Ram, and a My Little Pony sweatshirt that I just found. It's like so cute, it's limited edition. Corn nuts, unlimited booze, power. Well then, how very, Westerberg. How very. The one and only Miss Martha Duck Dunstock. Hey there, Westerberg. And then, Miss Heather Chandler, the Almighty. She is a mythic bitch. <laughs>